Welcome back everyone. We're going to continue the Toyota 22R build. And this will, should be the only voiceover. I actually have Sam here. This is the day that we put his motor together. And he was here to watch me do the head and cut the seats on that. So you'll be hearing him. And he's doing most of the videoing. This is the transfer gauge. And so we're going to set my cutter for this valve the the exhaust valve specifically so you don't when you're setting up a valve you don't want it on the edge you want it a little off of the end if you can see so that's what this pointer is for so now I'm going to set the pointer for that valve just off the edge that helps that keeps the valves from burning it's, it's especially critical on exhaust valves. So we got that one set. I always double check. So then next we take our pilot and then we're gonna put this in here. So we got a 45 degree valve. So that means I use my 45 degree cutter that's that one right there so and you've seen it in, I don't know if you, did you watch that video so there's three spots there's three angles on this maybe even better in the light here <clears throat> there's three angles so you want to put that point on this angle right here that second one because that middle one is a 45 this is a 60 degree angle and then this one's a 30 doing that increases the flow uh, some some people even get so hardcore that they do a uh, five angle cut which is so overkill very similar to the Nissan I just did. Almost the same size. It's both Japanese, so... Mm -hmm. So this operates with a, so this piece floats, and I got this nice little foot pedal down here, so that's fun. When I bought this machine, none of this worked. I had to move the, for the first few heads, I needed to get it going, so I actually just muscled it by hand. So I spent the whole day, uh, two days and a couple hundred dollars in parts off of Granger's, and I finally got this thing working the way it should. So easy. When I first started doing this, I uh, I had to grind them all. So I have a grinder. So when I grind these, uh, when I cut these seats, so here. Here you've got your 60 degree angle. That's your 45 right in the middle here. You can see that. Yeah, you can see that. And then here is a 30. That's kind of a relief. And then doing that, then the, when the air comes up the port, 
it makes that corner a lot easier. It's a better flow. So it's not going to make a massive difference, but it's enough of a difference that I might as well do it. Mm -hmm. And so then with this part being a 45 degree angle, when I grind your valves, I actually grind it at a 44. So it's not a true 45 degree angle here. So then mm -hmm. doing that, it puts that pressure on the seat right here. Mm -hmm. So that way it's at the edge. So this is the way to adjust. You want to keep the head straight in here. I mean, it doesn't really matter so much, but just for ease of use because this only has a little bit of travel so you want your head to be pretty well parallel with this mm -hmm. and so then these numbers on the edge that that pushes the head away from the machine at an equidistant amount across so that the head's parallel so then I'm checking to yeah, I need to go one more so it's it's not far enough away. This just has a crazy angle on these valves. It's like almost a hemi. So that didn't get the three angles, but we're just going to leave it because we're going to have to cut a long ways down to get all three of them. So on this head, the customer, Sam, he actually, here's Sam, <laughs> he uh, ported the heads. I don't have time for that, so he did it, and it's shiny. So he did this all by hand, or Dremel and sand. So tell tell what you did to it. So yeah, I just took the Dremel and kind of cleaned everything up, and then I went started with 60 grit, cleaned all of it up on the inside of here, and then did a 120, and then one 150 on this side. On the other side, I finished it, did the exact same thing, but finished it with a 220 on the intake. Mm -hmm. And then some of the biggest things that he did is around this corner going to the the intake manifold he smoothened that out to make sure it's not sh as sharp of a corner for the air to travel and then also right here in the corner I took a I took a bit and I opened up this right here it used to come to a pinch now it's kind of a much wider gap in this corner mm -hmm. so I wish I had a flow bench but that's money yeah that looks good Next time you need to uh, golf ball dimple it. <laughs> you going? All right, so we're gonna check the head for warpage. Something like this on aluminum heads are a little more sensitive. So we're gonna start with five and see. 
you do want 4,000, no, absolutely no more than three. But actually, that's pretty good. Well, that's five, so we'll check two and see what that does. I just did one, and the thing was, I think I removed 10 thousands off of it. This head's not warped at all. It must not be the original head. <laughs> Probably not. I know your block has been gone through. I think we'll surface it anyways mm -hmm. because your block was pretty rough. You just can't have any leak here. Mm -hmm. and that's why. And it's a, it's a very thin, from your water passage here to your cylinder, there's not much there. Uh -uh. I think that piston's going to start right about here. So I want to make sure that all of that is flat, so we're going to surface it anyways. Okay. Oh, this one is automatic feed, super boring. And takes forever. And it takes forever. I know that there's some machines that have two speeds. So you can have a roughing and a finished speed. I'd like one, but I've got this, and this is kind of one of those machines where you can get it started and go do something else. Typically what I'll do is, when this is going, I'll be grinding valves. So that's a wrap of uh, doing Sam's head. This is just time lapse of doing the surfacing. So pretty soon we're going to be getting ready to put this motor back together. And yeah, after we show that one of putting it together, get a video of Sam's truck running. And it purrs pretty good. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Let me know what you'd uh, like to see in future videos. I've got some stuff lined up, but of course, if there's something you'd like to see, I'll see if I can fit that in. See you next time.